Alright guys, today we're going to be talking about Octogen OS 10.3.3, an update that I've been waiting for, I just hit, so uh, all my OnePlus users, uh, be sure to check for that update, and this was a pretty a significant update, uh, definitely the first thing that I noticed was uh, the speed improvement, so um, there, my phone was getting a little bit, I won't say sluggish, but I would notice kind of like more animation glitches uh, with this. And this update actually made the phone just a much more smoother and a little bit more speedier because I've had this phone for around two years now as my main daily driver. And, you know, when you got a lot of stuff on your phone, it can get a little bit sluggish over time. And this update definitely was a big uh, boost. That was one of the main things uh, I noticed here. But let's go and look at the update uh, log here all right so here is the official log so the oneplus bullets uh, wireless z can now be integrated with dolby atmos for better sound optimized volume adjustment to improve user experience uh so this is what they're talking about right here so if i go to uh let's just go to a video real quick phone and it just feels super soft. so if you click on the volume you can see the captions appear so I'll it be handed this IP68 dust and water and you can see uh, which it tries to nice. uh, the great thing about this phone is you read it and it does a pretty good job at uh orange display it does a pretty good job at detecting uh, what it is that is being said on the screen the here Display, uh, with a crazy 1440p resolution with 537 for the PPI so just a beautiful display like it's not uh, doors as well just really sometimes it can get it get it wrong sometimes but uh, honestly it's very very good and if you want to turn the live captions off you just go ahead and simply click it like that but uh, other than that everything is pretty much the same here you can still switch from or your speaker to headphones very easily that's all pretty much still the same but that is very useful especially for people that uh, really rely on captions and stuff like that also another big thing uh, with this update was the improved uh, battery life situation uh, so uh, you're getting around I would say eight to nine hours of screen on time if you're not a super heavy user. This update definitely uh, helped with battery life. I did notice an uh, uptick in battery life. So if you guys are interested in a battery drain test again, uh, maybe we can do that. But uh, definitely, I wasn't getting bad battery life by any means, but I definitely noticed that uh, you know it is not as hard uh, or it's harder to kill this phone uh, doing uh, more gaming more video watching uh, is harder uh, now so definitely a uh, battery improvement there and it fixed a lot of glitches uh, that I was having so I would have this one glitch where the wallpaper would like ch randomly change back to the stock wallpaper like it would randomly go back to this wallpaper right here it would do it constantly so uh, that's one bug fix it fix that out it wouldn't do it like all the time but it would do it like every so often like randomly it would just do it so i noticed that it wasn't doing that anymore so just kind of like weird stuff that if you flash the whole thing then maybe that problem would go away because i don't see anyone else dealing with that so it's kind of like a, a unique kind of weird thing with mines but um, yeah, so that's been fixed. The added uh, lens stain detection as well. And then you have the Epic Games in game space, but it's India only. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it. Now, if you want to go ahead and... It should be rolling out over the air, but if you want to go ahead and download the update, uh, you just go to the Oxygen uh, or the OnePlus website and you can manually download it, put it in your folder. I have a video on how to flash the update from the computer. You can honestly just download it from the browser and um, be able to flash it from the local uh, storage, uh, which I will show you. You just download it and make sure it's on the root and then you go to update and then local upgrade and you see it'll find this is an old one but it'll find it and then you just click on it and then it'll update it uh, so that's pretty much it thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one